of the questions we get most often from non-farmers is, how come sometimes your corn plants are really tall and sometimes they're a lot shorter? Same thing we see in soybeans, same thing in sunflowers or wheat or almost any crop. What influences plant height? That's our topic during our Farm Basics time today. Well, for farmers, this can be a real challenge. Let's take corn for an example to begin with. If you plant corn early and it's cold and the corn grows really slowly the first part of the season, what happens is it's going to reach several different leaf stages with not much of a gap in between those leaves. And the ultimate result is later in the season, you have a shorter corn plant. Now, in many cases, farmers like that. Now, the ear isn't way high up in the air, so it isn't a tippy plant that could fall over late in the season. Uh, and besides uh, having all that excess vegetative growth, now we can use that same amount of energy promoting more of a root system and hopefully so, more of an ear. Right, so what we're saying here is the first thing that a farmer can do to influence plant height is change his planting date. So the earlier that the farmer plants and the colder the conditions, typically the shorter the plant, even though it could be the exact same variety. If the farmer plants that exact same variety just a month later when the soil is warm, the air temperature is very warm, now we're going to have a taller plant. Yeah, in some cases we like that. Like let's say you're chopping silage, for example. Some farmers say, you know, if I plant a little bit later with my silage corn, I get taller corn because every growth stage there's more heat, so there's more elongation between those nodes or leaves on the corn plant, and they get a bigger, leafier plant. The other thing that people will talk about quite often is fertility especially nitrogen. If there are very high levels of nitrogen early in the season, then that promotes more growth. It promotes more elongation of that stem very early on. So that's another thing. If a farmer wants a shorter plant, he can cut his nitrogen rate early in the season. If he wants a taller plant, go more nitrogen. The other thing is plant growth hormones. Now naturally, plants will produce certain hormones for growth. Like, for example, gibberellic acid is produced in the root system of plants, and when it's warm, that translocates up through the plant, and it, and it creates more shoot growth or more stem growth. Farmers are also using gibberellic acid applications in cooler seasons to try to improve growth early. Like in pastures, for example, we can get more growth out of the grass, so there's more to graze on for their cattle early season. All right, one other thing that I will throw out here is competition. If the plant is all by itself in an area, then usually it's going to be a little shorter. However, if there are other plants near it, what that plant is going to do is it's going to grow a little taller because it wants to get the sunlight. So the thicker populations, the heavier populations, the more weeds that there are in that area, the taller the plant is going to be. So if you want shorter plants, plant fewer of those plants and keep it weed free. Now there are a lot of things that influence whether plants are going to grow taller than they normally would or be shorter than they normally would. Farmers understand many of those things and put them into practice to their advantage on the farm. Well, one of the other things farmers put into practice is great weed control, especially when it comes to our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you how to stop this tough weed later in the show. <music>